Good morning, ESM. I'm Alex. And I'm Jaden. Today we are talking about a dangerous animal from Africa. Police have charged a man after a crash on Richmond Road with more. Here's Elena. A 75-year-old man was charged with manslaughter after a fatal crash in Manlius. He was arrested and charged with manslaughter and being intoxicated while driving. He was driving his 2017 red Corvette on Richmond Road around 2.45 p.m. when the car went off a curb and smashed into a tree, which fatally killed his passenger Gregory, Gregory Damon, age 71. Reels was released without having bail police, and prosecutors do not consider Reels a flight risk due to his age and poor health. In other news, on Tuesday, Brigham and Women's Hospital in Boston announced it will be testing the safety and efficiency of a nasal vaccine aimed at preventing and slowing Alzheimer's. The trial will include 16 participants from the ages of 60 to 85 with early symptomatic Alzheimer's who will receive two doses of the vaccine one week apart. If it goes well, a much larger trial would be needed to test its effectiveness. Hospice nurse Julie on TikTok has recently blown up on social media for talking about patients' last moments. She talks about things like patients', like patients last word and seeing loved ones. According to her, people see loved ones before they die and how it's comforting to them. She also talks about how medical professionals don't know why they see them. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Who's got talent? you got talent. We want to showcase it at this year's talent show. There is an informational meeting about ESM's Got Talent today, after school, at 325 in the chorus room. Please see or email Mr. Burgess if you are unable to attend but would like to participate on December 10th. Seniors. Senior quotes are due by this Friday, November 19th. Go to esmyearbook.org to submit your quote. Last quotes may not be accepted. Do you like to laugh? <laughs> Do you stand up comedy? Are you stand up comedian? Well, if you said yes to any of these, you should come to the, com to the comedy for Cara Comedy Show that is being put on by DECA. The show is on December 2nd from 6.30 to 9.30 at the Golden Spike Pub in East Syracuse. Tickets are $30 and it includes a meal. There are only 30 tickets left, so act fast. By the way, I heard that Mr. Richmond is the headliner and he's going by his st stage name, Uncle Richie. So you definitely don't want to miss that. If you would like to buy a ticket, go see Mr. Anzalone in B4. It's, it's that time of year. The annual Cotellini da dance is coming up on December 4th. The dance is in the large gym from 7 to 10. Tickets will be sold starting Monday the 22nd and will be sold until break and then the whole week after leading up to the dance. Pre-request songs by scanning the QR code on screen or by going to tjdj.syr on Instagram and clicking the link in the bio. Beware of Africa's most notorious land mammal, the hippopotamus. Sure, they look cute and funny looking, but don't let those features fool you. In fact, hippos are one of the most deadliest mammals in the world. Every year, hippos kill an estimated amount of 50 people across Africa. Their bite force is approximately 1,800 PS. And tusks, they grow two feet long, making them likely to have the strongest jaws of any herbivore on the planet. Enough to not only crush a human skull, but also crush a crocodile or even split a boat in two. Now you're asking, well, I can just run away from them. Think again. Despite their chubby and bulky appearance, these obese land mammals can run up to 30 miles an hour, making it impossible for the average human to outrun them, or even outswim them for that matter. Adult hippos can move at speeds of 8 kilometers per hour, which is roughly 5 miles per hour in water, typically resurfacing to breathe every 3 to 5 minutes. Heck, the process of surfacing and breathing is unconscious. Did you know that a hippo sleeping underwater will rise and breathe up without waking up? That is crazy indeed.
Today there will be a high of 60 degrees and a low of 33 degrees. Saturday there will be a few showers in the morning with a high of 42 and a low of 30 degrees. Tomorrow we'll have a high of 46 and a low of 38 degrees. How does the moon trim his hair? Eclipse it. Be sure to look outside tomorrow night because there's going to be a lunar eclipse. Now, did you know that hippos mostly come out at night? It's true. During daylight hours, hippos spend almost all of their time wallowing in shallow waters after the hot sun has set in the evening. Hippos come out of the water for a night sun of grazing. This goes on for about six hours. Hippos are mostly inactive unless eating, and this helps them conserve energy. <coughs> The reason for them coming out at night and mostly of their days in the water is their skin. Hippos secrete a reddish oily fluid from special glands in their skin. This is why hippos mostly try to avoid direct sunlight by lying in the water during the day and feeding at night. Their skin is very sensitive to both drying and sunburn, so the secretion act like an automatic skin ointment. So hippos, hippos mostly come out at night, which is scarier because of fear or being sneak attacked by these land behemoths. New England Patriots take on the Atlantic Falcons tonight at 8.20. The Milwaukee Bucks beat the Los Angeles Lakers 109-102. to Giannis scored the season high of 47 points in the victory. The, this loss for the Lakers puts them at 8-8 eight eight record. The Phoenix Suns are now on the 10-game winning streak as they beat the Dallas Mavericks 105-98. David Devin Brooker scored 24 points in the victory. I'm Leah Ramon, your sports. That's all the time we have today. So if you're going on a trip to Africa one day, beware of these cute but deadly land mammals. So for me, Jaden, and everyone else in the morning show, have a great day.